Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we are continuing with our students and parents database. Got a little nice little project going on. If you haven't watched parts one through three, go watch those first, then come on back. All right, whenever we build a little proj like the project like this, I, I'm still fighting the cold, folks. I apologize. I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew and cold syrup. So, or cough syrup. See, I can't even talk right. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, whenever we build a project like this, we got the students, right? We got the parents. And it's always, people always ask me, well, how do I jump back and forth between these, right? I got Bobby Kirk up here. Well, now I want to go look at Mr. Spock's record. So it'd be nice if I could click a button and just open up Mr. Spock, right? And then yeah, I could see Mr. Spock's kids. I could jump between the kids. So how do we go between these things automatically? I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. First, I'm going to show you the non-programming way because I know a lot of you out there you know, you want to build great databases, but you don't want to learn how to be a programmer. That's okay. And then after that, I'm going to show you a little VBA so you could do it with just one line of code. Okay. All right. Let's do the non-programmer way first for all of you who have no desire to learn how to program. We'll put a button on the bottom of the sub form, right? These are students in here to jump to the student form for that particular student. All right. So let's start with the student sub F. All right. Design view. We're going to put that in the form footer down here on the bottom. Come here. Give me the bottom. Right there. There it is. Got to get the bottom. All right. I was trying to grab it over here where it didn't exist. Um, if you don't have a form footer, right click on the detail section and turn on the form header footer, not the page header footer. We don't use the page header footer for forms because the page header footer is for printing and we don't print forms. We print reports. Anyways, down here, let's drop a button form design. I'm going to grab me a button, drop it down here, form operations, open a form. Next, what form are we opening? These are students, so I'm going to open up the student form. Where are you? Student form. Next, I want to open the form and find specific data to display. All right, I want to open up whatever student I happen to be on. Next, now here's how you got to match it up. Match up the student combo box, which is that field there, with the student ID on the form you're opening. And then make sure you click this button right there. Click. See that? So you get matching fields. Okay. Next. What button do you want? Open student. Next. Give it a meaningful name. Open student button, BTN. And then finish. And here's your open student button. Slide it right up under here. Make it nice and pretty. Close that up, make it however wide you want it. All right, save it, close it. Now, if I open up the parent form, you can see right down here, I got open student. It'll open up whichever student you're on. So if I happen to click on Sue Kirk and hit open student, bam, there you go. There's Sue Kirk's record. I'll slide this down here. Keep the students down below. See, if I click on Bobby Kirk, open student. Now it jumps to Bobby Kirk's record. All right, let's do the same thing for the parents. So we'll go to the parent sub F design view. And what I was trying to do before, I was trying to prefer what's prefer. What I was trying to do before was grab the bottom of the form footer, but it doesn't actually exist until you're over here. See, because right, right there, that's where the edge of the form is. So you got to be right there. All right, ready? Let's do it again. Same thing with parents. Drop a button, form operations, open a form. Next. What are we opening up? The parent form. Next, find specific data. Next, parent combo is linked to parent ID. Don't forget to click that button. Next, open parent. Next, open parent button and finish. There you go. Parent, slide it up underneath there. Make it all nice and pretty. Save it, close it. Open up the parent form. All right. Go to Sue Kirk. There you go. All right. Let's go to Carol Marcus. Hey, and now you can jump back and forth. Let's go to Bobby. All right. Go to Mr. Spock. Hey, that's how you can jump back and forth between them. Now, that's how you can do it with a button. I personally don't like a button. It's, it's not that intuitive. Yeah, sure. It's a, it's a teaching moment. You can just teach your, your users how to do this. Right, click on the student first, hit open student. 
I like double clicking myself. Now to do a double click event requires a little bit of programming. Now, if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started, but I'm gonna show you what you need to know right now. All right, so instead of hitting a button, I wanna be able to double click on the student to do the same thing. So let's go back to those subforms. Let's go to the parent subform design view. Now, this thing here, when you create a button, it creates something called an embedded macro. If you right click on that and go to build event, the build event is what happens when you click on that. It's an open form command and it's opening the parent form where the parent ID equals parent combo. Okay, we can do something very similar with a little bit, bit of VBA code. And I think it's actually easier than dealing with that embedded macro. So click on the object, click on the combo box here. All right, double click on it to bring up the property sheet or you can click on property sheet up here wherever. Okay, now go to events. There's a bunch of different events. They all kick off at different times. We're looking for the on double click event right there. You're gonna click on the dot, dot, dot button. Now that bring, might bring up another little menu, that, excuse me, that says, what builder would you like? Pick the code builder, code builder. I have mine turned off and I show you how to do that in that VBA uh, video that I mentioned a minute ago. Now that's gonna bring up the VBA editor, which looks like this. And right in here inside this private sub between the private sub and the end sub, this is what happens when you double click on the parent combo box. And we need one line of code right here. We wanna open up the parent form. So it's a do command, D-O-C-M-D dot open form. What's the form name? Parent F. Now there's some options we don't need here. So just go comma, comma, comma. And it's not like the chameleon, right? Comma, comma, comma. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sick, leave me alone. All right, now. See so down here where it says where condition? This is the option we're on now, the where condition. I wanna open up the parent form where the parent ID equals whatever's in that parent combo. We're gonna use a little string concatenation there. That's gonna take the value that's in parent combo, could be a six, could be a 13, right? It's gonna add it to this string. So it's gonna be parent ID equals 13. That's our where condition and it's gonna send it to the open form command. It's gonna open up the parent form where the parent ID on that form equals the parent combo. Okay, you with me? Save that, come back over here, close it. Let's open it back up again. And now if I double click on Bobby Kirk, whoops, I'm on the wrong one. I'm opening up the parent form, right? So I wanna be on the student form. There we go. If I double click on Carol Marcus, there you go. See, it opened up Carol Marcus. I forgot I was on the, this thing over here, that the parent subform is in the student form and vice versa. And what I like to do to make sure that I, uh, I know there's an event there is I like to take this guy here and make it you know, a different color. I use, a, I use like a light blue. So I'm gonna come in here and maybe pick that blue. That just tells the user visually, hey, you can double click on this field and something's gonna happen, right? So now when I open it up, excuse me, now when I open it up, I can see these are blue. Oh, what happens if I double click on Jim Kirk? Oh, there's Jim Kirk, okay. See that? And now we can do the same thing in the student subform. All right, student subform, right click, design view, pick this guy. And I think I got my colors wrong in the footer there. Yeah, this should be, this should be blue. Let's come up here and go with, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, click on you. In fact, let's use the blue first right there. All right. Events on double click, dot, dot, dot button, code builder, do command, open form, student F, where the student ID equals the student combo. All right, easy enough. Save it. Once in a while, if you're doing some programming, throw in a debug compile. It just, the compiler runs through all your code to make sure everything's legit. All right, close it. Close it, open it, let's go to Carol Marcus, let's go back to Sue Kirk, let's go back to Jim Kirk, let's go to Sue Kirk again, whatever, Bobby Kirk. All right, see how you can jump back and forth between those records with your little events or with your little buttons or with whatever you want. Now, I've already gotten some feedback on this series so far. Today is uh, 
Well, it's Thursday the 11th as I'm recording this, but uh, members can watch uh, the, the, the videos as soon as they're posted to my website or YouTube. And I've already gotten some good feedback on what you guys want to see. And a lot of you have said, a couple of you have said, well, a few of you have said, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> uh, the, hey, hey, Rick, you don't spend enough time with reporting. So we're going to make some reports. We're going to make a call list. We're going to take each student and we're going to list all of their parents with their phone numbers. So we're going to start that in the next video, which will be part five. But that's going to be the end of part four. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something, my friends. Live long and prosper. I'll see you tomorrow for part five. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsor, Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. They're manufacturing experts specializing in Microsoft Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. Check them out at accessexperts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. 
Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.